Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. So you can see this thing behind me and I'm not showing you the whole thing, but it's something that Greg and I had made and we purchased a house in Florida. It's going to be seasonal rental and we have been decorating it. In the coming weeks, I'm going to share different projects that we've done and I will give you a before and after tour so you can see how that turned out as well. However, today we're going to tackle this big project behind us. It's inexpensive artwork. It's a project I saw on Pinterest. If you have a big blank wall space and you need to fill it up with something, um, this is a perfect project for you. A shower curtain hanging on the wall project. I got Greg here to help me to build a frame and put it all together. And I'll put a link to the original project down in the description below. Here's a wall that we're trying to fill. It has a dated picture on it and we want to have something kind of fun and visually interesting and kind of big and will have an impact when you walk in the front door. We're going to do that with a turtle. Sea turtle, not turtle turtle. It's, sea turtle. It's a turtle. Turtle. Do you see the turtle? Here's the turtle and it's just a shower curtain. I ordered it online. I'll have a link to that down in the description below as well so you can find it. But otherwise there's tons of designs that you can find um, that would be fun too. But we thought this would be a high impact image that would look great on that wall. Okay, so we have to cut the frame. We measured 61 inches by 61 inches. We acquired from Home Depot this uh, one by two wood slats to go ahead and cut down. And so this is how we're going to glue and screw. When we want to glue and not just screw because the screws over time have a tendency to get a little loose, but by gluing it, and then screwing it, the frame hopefully will stay square for a long period of time. Time to glue and screw. Our frame is finished, but we found that the shower curtain was a little bit thinner and that you'd be able to see the frame through it. So what we decided to do is we got a sheet. We got an expensive flat sheet to cover it and we're going to staple that on first. So once you have this covered, you want to cut off any excess. It should look something like this. I'm going to lay the shower curtain down, the picture down, now we're going to lay it down on the curtain, and we want to make sure it's straight. already but then we thought you know with all of this white on here we thought um, fingers touching it it might get dirty and we were really concerned about that so I found this satin finish and it's a Krylon and it's moisture resistant non yellowing and it's a permanent protective satin finish so I've already sprayed one coat on there and I'm gonna do a minimum of one more just so that if ever need be it could be wiped down and hopefully you know stains and dirty fingers and stuff won't affect it instead of just a regular scotch guard 
thinking that this might give a little more strength to the overall fabric too. So here it is hung and ready to go. And we did a couple different things than the original project that I had found. I sealed the fabric. Hopefully that will hold and be able to kind of give it a, be able to wipe it up and clean it. It did not change the fabric. It doesn't seem any stiffer um, and it did not change the color at all. Only time will tell, but hopefully it will protect it. Just so you can get a feel for the size, I'm gonna run over there so you can see. <laughs> I hope you guys like the turtle project and if you have space for something big like that I hope you give it a try because it was fairly easy and it really makes a big impact and there are so many great shower curtains out there you just want to make sure it's a fabric shower curtain but you can make a big impact and you don't have to tell anybody that it's a shower curtain so thanks guys for being here I appreciate it and there will be more projects to come remember life is too short not to shimmer so grab your glue gun and your glitter stay safe bye guys